Welcome to Gun News in 5 minutes or less. This is brought to you by the DR Drake 63 channel. This week, the Supreme Court ruled on a Fourth Amendment case, which goes back to 2015, involving a Rhode Island man who had his firearms seized by the police without a search warrant of any kind after his wife said he was a danger to himself. The Supreme Court said that the police don't have the right to do that and there must be a search warrant involved. Now, I, I think the Fourth Amendment is absolutely as important as the second and the first. And let's just face it, the, the Bill of Rights itself is very important. That's why it's called the Bill of Rights. Uh, why I don't necessarily see this as the answer or a precursor or even necessarily being related to these so-called red flag laws and how these might be enforced is this particular situation is based on one thing. The police unilaterally made a decision without a warrant to go into this guy's house, take his firearms away from him because they, the police, made a decision that he was going to potentially be a danger to himself. Red flag laws, as, as most of them are written and most of them I read, aren't empowering the police. They actually do empower a judge, in some cases based on hearsay evidence, to decide that, hey, just to prevent any potential tragedy, we're going to take firearms away from an individual who we deem as being either uh, a potential danger to himself or others. So. Uh, here we have a case where the Supreme Court says no, the police, without any kind of hearing or any kind of warrant specifically, don't have the right to come into your house and seize your stuff. Doesn't mean that they couldn't be granted a warrant from a judge. And the way these red flag uh, laws work, uh, and the disturbing part to many of us is, all you have to do is have a judge get convinced, hey, Dave Drake has X amount of firearms and uh, we're concerned he's going to do something. And if that judge happens to be a, an anti-gun person or someone who leans really hard that direction, uh, they can go ahead and agree and then provide that warrant. So the Supreme Court didn't rule that with a warrant that the police can't come into your house. So I see this as more of a victory on the right to privacy front then I do see it as a victory uh, of a Second Amendment nature. It just happens to involve firearms in this case. So you guys can comment and, 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 and tell me where I'm wrong on that. But that's how I'm reading what happened with the Supreme Court. And I hope that with uh, the potential development of these so-called red flag laws, that there's going to be some very definitive things put forward that make it very hard for someone just to say, hey, my neighbor makes me nervous, I don't like guns, and then things go off the rails real quick with individual rights. For updates on this and other stories, please subscribe to Gun News in five minutes.